Hello, JC Rebel 18. You know, you know this video that you put out a month ago. I should have addressed then, but I let it go because I had a lot going on with YouTube and blog TVs then. But you decided to reply to my comments, and one of your your replies really pissed me off. So now I'm going to address your video itself. Here we go. And although you probably don't know this, unit cohesion and unit morale, especially in a time of war, are two of the most important things. No shit, Sherlock. Of course, of course unit cohesion and unit morality are two very important things. Um, this doesn't answer the question that was asked before, which, which you made this video because of a a comment that I left, which is, what does, does repelling, um, don't ask, don't tell, have to do, do with unit cohesion, and just to let everybody know, including him, him, I started this at the 10 minute and 30 second mark of his video, the, the rest was just incoherent ramblings that I, I wanted to address just the last three minutes of his video. I'm sure you've heard of the Marines, right? Well, in basic training, or whatever they call it, different uh, British and the military call it different things. Different branches call it different things. It's called basic fucking training. All branches call it basic fucking training. You say that your dad is in the military and that he he is responsible for for troop deployment in in Iraq. And you say that you've been to military bases and that and that you you know what you're talking about when it comes to to the bil to the military. What the fuck is this? One of the biggest things they uh, emphasize in even the most basic of training is unit cohesion. Why? Because they want the unit to work as one unit. You're not an individual, you're part of a squad. And you have to work as part of a squad. As part of a team. Or as part of a battalion. Or whatever. You know, that's really common knowledge. JC Rebel. I'm gonna call you JC because, yeah, just just get it out of the way. JC, that is really common fucking knowledge. I hope you know that. You know, from somebody that espouses that his dad is a prominent member in the military, should know that basic training teaches the individuals to work as a fucking team. Duh. And that's why. If that's interrupted in a time of co in a time of war, a lot of people are going to die. Okay, just saying, a lot of people are going to die because if they're distracted by something else, then they're going to get shot. Okay. <laughs> the question was. How does repealing don't ask, don't tell have to do with unit cohesion? I do see where you're going with this, but you're not really answering anything. It's why I cut out the first ten and a half minutes of your video. Uh, unless you're not aware of this, JC, America is kind of always at fucking war somewhere on the planet. You know, since mm, 1920, even earlier than than that, actually, because uh, World War One was actually before 1920. But we've been at war somewhere on the planet throughout the entire 20th fucking century, including today. 
And most of those, the greater majority, were built on fucking lies. You espoused earlier in part in in the part that I cut out that that right now we are in three wars. Yeah, how does repealing "Don't Ask, Don't Tell" going to affect that? Huh? And you have to keep in mind these people are shot at almost all of the time. They're shot at when they're taking a shit. They're shot at when they're walking around, they're, they drive in the middle of the road because you can't even drive on the side of the road because you're going to get ambushed and you can't bury your dead because sometimes they're going to have an IED strapped to them and all of this shit that's going on. And maybe you can understand why they kind of do some of the stuff they're doing, or maybe you can't, but just saying... This is kind of the atmosphere they're going in. Okay? And that is exactly why they go through basic training. So that they can get used used to having bullets flying around them. So that they can get used, used to hear, hearing shit blow up. You know, when you sign up to become a soldier, you know, that's pretty much, you know, common fucking knowledge that you're going to get shot at. They shoot at you in basic training to train you for being shot at. So, why well, I wouldn't have a problem with this if Obama was elected later and doing this stuff later. I'm kind of having mixed feelings on the whole don't ask, don't tell thing. I don't think it's a bad thing, okay? I wouldn't oppose... Um, gays being in the military, but you have to keep in mind the people in the military already know if you're gay. Okay? They already know it. They can tell. Okay? No. They can't. Yes, there are some people who allude that they're gay that that wear it like a mantra or put it out there uh, more so than others, but generally, no, you cannot tell when somebody is gay. Yes, in the military, because of the closeness of, of, of the units, because of what their job actually entails, yes, yes, like, they're more willing to share certain things between each other, and there are many, many, many testimonies of people in the military that that found out that their teammate was a homosexual and had no fucking problem with it. And you want to know why? Because that person was doing their job. So, yeah, just saying. Again, I don't oppose, don't ask, don't tell, but you have to keep in mind, unit cohesion and unit morale is a very, one of the most important things in the military. Just saying. And you can... People can flame me for this. I don't care. Just getting this out there. You're not cohesion! You're not cohesion! You're not cohesion! That's all the rhetoric that's been passed around that, that, that you are doing in this entire fucking video. It's just repeating the mantra, Unit cohesion! without actually explaining how it would break down by by repealing don't ask don't tell you know it, it's one of those things that really pisses me off is when people repeat mantras over and over and fucking over again with no explanation to wow why or how it will actually do it it's why it took and 18 fucking years to repeal don't ask don't don't tell 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 because a mantra of repeating assholes like you that don't actually think about it okay that's the end of your video you say a little thing at the end about Troy Davis and that's it but now let's deal with the comment section of your video that 
re-spurred me, that, that got me to actually make this. Shall we? Here is our comment exchange. You never answered my major question. Yes, I changed it up in this video here a bit, but but both questions were asked. How 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 is unit cohesion affected? And what does someone's sexuality have to do with how they do their job? You you've neglected to answer any one of them and what the, the fuck is this think from a heterosexual lifestyle thing can can you please explain that JC um huh how how does someone's sexuality affect how they do their job and how does it affect unit cohesion? I brought up before because of bigots in the military. Then, then that's then that's in a better reason to get rid of it. Because somebody is a bigot does not mean that that a law is is allowed to be passed to not give the same rights to other people. Like right now, we have 30, 39 states where same-sex marriage is it is illegal. You know, we have people wanting to put sodomy laws back on the books. Uh, we have presidential candidates now, now that have said said that if they were reelect or if they were elected president, they would do everything in their power to reinstate. Don't ask don't tell. None of them, and you, have provided one shred of fucking evidence to the contrary of, of, of why unit cohesion would break down. All that you, you people have done, and I, yes, I am grouping you up with them, and I don't fucking care, is repeat mantras of unit cohesion, unit cohesion, you want to go fucking Asian? You 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 do state state here that um, that you are against. Don't ask. Don't tell. Because you fixed what you said in the comments. But seriously, dude. What the fuck is this? At, at least answer the question directly. Instead of repeating mantras. It, it, it's why people like me get really pissed the fuck off. Because no actual explanation or data is given to why, you know, something should be because, because of something else. Oh, you're gay, so, yeah, like, we're not going to let you serve your country because we're bigoted fucking assholes, you know. It's one of the main reasons why I didn't join. Because I, I knew when I was younger that I was gay. Yes, I tried fighting it, but I could not stand that level of bigotry for for people that wanted to serve their own country.